I don't know what a hedge fund is. I, I, I really don't know. It, it, uh, when I say that, um, um, it's like a, it, it would be like using a term, um, a mutual fund. So it's a structure within which um, investors can do all different things. Like a mutual fund, you might say some people are value investors. Some people invest in bonds. Some people invest in stocks. People do all different things within a structure called a hedge fund. So it's a particular structure that allows people to do all different things. Basically, though, it allows you to invest without um, um, uh, much in the way of uh, restrictions, traditional ways. I can sell short as well as go long. If something's going to go, if I think something will go down, I can sell short. I can go into any market. I can go into stocks or bonds or commodities or gold or anywhere that I want to go within my agreement with my client. Um, so I give me the freedom to approach the world to look at whatever is good or whatever is bad. And so it's a, it's a vehicle that allows me the freedom to invest in the best way that I know how. I love global macro because uh, I, you know, it's everywhere in the world and it's trying to understand how all the parts of the world operate. I, lo I love it because it's, it's, it's very, very practical. I, I like the fact that um, people are not making subjective evaluations of how good I'm doing, that I can measure myself down to the, you know, two decimal points, right? What's my performance? It's objectively evaluated. I like the fact that I can go long or short so that there's no such thing as um, good times or bad times. Most people have an industry or a, a profession and they have cycles to them, you know? In my case, I don't have any cycles. It's I have no excuses. Just it's all on me. I could make bad mistakes, and that's my that's that reality. I like that. So it's those elements. When I graduated from uh, Harvard Business School, I was trading commodities, and this was in 1973. This was when um, uh, there was the oil shock, and there was a need for commodities all around the world. And I had a bunch of pals who were in different parts of the world, and we decided to put together an association, we called it, um, that would bridge the waters, at, which what it meant was that we were, uh, I would, we'd find commodities that were located in one place and uh, sold soybean oil from the United States to Iran in that kind of association. And this was one of those things that we did kind of um, part-time, um, but it, it actually didn't end up being, I think we did probably two transactions. It was more of an idea than a reality. Um, and I had the name. So in other words, I had formed the company, incorporated it, and I had the structure. And so then when I left Shearson, there it was.